In this video, we'll talk a little about your query list and how to add agents to your query list. Your query list is a place where you put the agents who you think you might want to query later. You place them in this list so you can go back and refer to it whenever you need to. Once an agent is in your query list, you can then track the queries to that agent, recording things like the sent date of the query, how it was sent, what the reply was, among other things. So first off, how do you get an agent into your query list? That's actually pretty easy. There are two ways to add an agent to your query list. The first is done from the search page here. For each agent listed, there's a checkbox to the left of their names. Simply checking that box will add the agent to your query list. Notice the icon appears, which means the agent is in your list. Later, that icon will change to represent the status of the query, and we'll cover that in a later video. The other way to add an agent to your query list is to go to the agent's profile page. To do that, click the agent's name. The agent's profile page shows the details about this agent. Over here on the sidebar is another checkbox with the label, Add this agent to my query list. Checking this box adds the agent to your list, just like on the other page. And just like before, an icon shows up, indicating the agent is in your query list. If you need to remove an agent from your query list, just uncheck the box. And after you confirm the removal, the agent is removed from your list. You can also add the agent to your Do Not Query list. You use this if you've researched an agent and decided that he or she just isn't a match for you. You add them to your Do Not Query list to help you remember you've already ruled this agent out. You can even leave a little note to yourself reminding you why you ruled him out. To leave a note, click this icon here. Now if you happen to be on a tablet or smartphone, this sidebar may not be shown. There just isn't enough room for it. Instead, you'll see this tab here. Tap that to make the sidebar slide out. And when you're done, tap it again and the sidebar disappears. And that's all there is to adding agents to your query list. In the next video, I'll show you what you can do with your query list. Thanks for watching.